Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. This is Karen Bowman at the 2018 IEDC Drilling Onshore Conference and Exhibition in Houston. I'm speaking today with Anthony Gallegos, President and CEO of Sidewider Drilling, about some of the challenges that drilling contractors are facing today. How are you doing, Anthony? I'm do uh, thank you very much, Karen. Appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to talk about this with you. What is your company doing not only to maintain, but improve safety performance as drilling activity increases? That's a very good question. Uh, the safety of our men uh, is the most important uh, responsibility that, that I have as a CEO, but certainly we have as managers of the company. We work very hard every day to try and create an environment for our people that uh, nobody gets hurt, we don't tear anything up, that uh, we don't harm the environment, or that we don't damage anyone's reputation. And the way we do that is by being very careful about uh, uh, the, the selection of people, uh, the onboarding of people, the training of those people. Uh, we try to create a company that uh, uh, we're the contractor of choice from an employee's perspective, somewhere they want to work. That, you know, that involves all kinds of uh, things, uh, including not just compensation, but obviously benefits, corporate culture, uh, things like that. So, you know, we believe by addressing all of that, uh, creating a good environment for our people, providing, you know, proper training for them, we can get through the day without hurting people, which is our number one goal. You talked recently about what you see as the single biggest challenge that the industry is facing. What is that challenge? I, I think the uh, biggest challenge that we face as an industry is on the people side. Our business is coming off of a historic downturn. Uh, drilling activity has, has increased significantly over the last 18 months. It's expected to continue to increase. Therefore, we are going to need people. So uh, access to people, uh, selection, uh, training, and retention of people, uh, in my opinion, will be the biggest challenge for this industry uh, for the next few years to come. As far as uh, newcomers to the oil and gas industry, what are also called green hats, what is your company doing to ensure that green hats are getting the support they need in the field? Very good question. Uh, so we are very careful, one, like I said, about the selection uh, and the onboarding and training of our people, but we try and manage it as well by making sure that uh, we won't have more than one green hand uh, per crew. So we believe that uh, is one way to mitigate the risk. Uh, second, by uh, assigning them mentors, which we do throughout the company. And, uh, and third is just making sure that uh, each rig has a, a culture on it that is, is one of safety, one that uh, an employee feels uh, valued, and, and one that uh, the employee feels like people actually care about his safety. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today, Anthony. Okay. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for joining us at drillingcontractor.org.